are you aware this is an over 18 event? Are you 18? Yeah. Well, then you already know what it's like to suck a cow's cock then. <laughs> I'll tell you what happened with this one is that we had to cancel because there was nothing happening because there was some other footy thing happening in the town. Nobody bought tickets. We had like six tickets sold, but we said we're going to come anyway because we're champions. And we went up to the cricket club. Went up to the cricket club, got people out of there, and we ended up selling like 35 tickets at the last minute. That's what happened. Out uh, to Corrigan. Corrigan. We got another hour side It's spelled C O R R I G I N. Tim will spell it K O R. <laughs> I G G A M. Yeah. People are still pissed at me in Calabar. We're just happy to be there. Scotty that uh, we were just talking to, um, yeah, pretty pumped. First outdoor gig, which I don't think I don't think I've ever done one. I haven't. I haven't. So I well, mean, reckons uh, at the moment looking at 70 to 100 people, which would be um, absolutely fucking spot on. Like you know, with mums, mums, are you frustrated with your kids? Are you frustrated with your daughters? I'm frustrated with mine. My fucking daughter can deadlift 145 fucking kilos. Can't lift a wet towel off the floor. And she'll go, oh, I keep forgetting. I'll just go, you're, you're fucking, fucking flicking your bean, you mole. <laughs> I, get, I just got to get, yeah, so I reckon mums can start that. And I think they should start bringing that through. <laughs> Male chauvinistic pig. <laughs> yeah. You're right. <laughs> Someone called me a misogynist. I said, is that the fucking church run of performing females? Or... But you're right, you're right. That is the back. And back I was back to the drawing board with it. It's tough, you know, you, you try and do all sorts of things. I held the door for a woman up in Perth the other day. She said, we can get our own fucking doors, thanks, buddy. <laughs> trying to be a gentleman, you know what I mean? Trying to be a gentleman. I thought, is this what my daughter's going to be marching for? You know, one, two, three, four, we can get our fucking doors. <laughs> I feel very confident, which is a bad thing. Every time I have confidence in a show, it tends to go worse than it should. Because you need to be nervous. You need to have some nerves or you need to be a little bit up, you know, something on a chip on your shoulder or something. But after last week and after the tour so far, I feel like I don't need to do my homework and I feel like I don't need to practice. I did two, I did one set this week instead of three. So this could go terribly badly. So I better get this out of the way. I tried to learn. I'm not trying to be an asshole of a dad. I tried to learn Spanish man. I'd read all the books, I finished all the apps, I fucked his mum for seven years, none of it helps bro, like, what is she saying? I think she's saying I'm pregnant or something, all right, just keep going, El Pregido, El Pregolo or something, I don't know if that's Spanish, that's all I do, that's all I do, I just say, whenever my kid talks to me, I just repeat what he said back to him and add some O's and A's and shit to the end of it. Who does? <laughs> Ma'am, I have a son from there. I hate old white ladies correcting me, hey, that's... It really shits me! <laughs> no, dude, it's outside. I got told two seconds ago that there's kids in the crowd. Um, they're kind of older people, and I feel like I want to do a lot more vaccine stuff tonight. I feel like I've got some other areas that I want to get into. And as, as this tour has gone on, it's gone, it's less about what they want and more about what I want. So I just can't connect with them. I can't connect with anyone because every time I've got a problem, everyone's like, ah, oh, Tim, just do some yoga. <laughs> Go and do some yoga, Tim. I'm like, all right, well, it's chlamydia, but I'll try to stretch it out, hey? <laughs> Should I wear the pants? Is that going to help? Or like, get some of those sweet pants? Thanks, dude. I love that you all think that you're helping. <laughs> Have you done yoga in your life, sir? No? 
Let me give you a tip. I went, look, I tried to assimilate with Fremantle people. I'm not trying to be a complete asshole. I went to a yoga class because everyone told me to go. Do you know you've got to do the entire class with your eyes closed? <laughs> Did you know that? And if it's your first class like me, that means you're just guessing all the moves. <laughs> and the moves aren't labelled like stick your legs out or put your arms up or anything nice like that. No, they're like downward dog. Eagle's resting nest. Happy baby. I don't know what the fuck a happy baby is, but I latched onto that lady's nipple like I was fresh out. I was like, ah! Oh, this is my fault, is it? This lady's been hitting a wind chime for 20 minutes and I'm the arsehole, am I? Are you vegan? This milk has no flavour. <laughs> I'm thinking about how I'm going to do uh, my set and I'm already, I'm already getting cocky because I'm going to do it differently, out of order. I mean, I always do it out of order, but this one will be... You, when you hear my first joke, you're just going to go, oh shit, here we go. I guarantee you, you will go, oh shit, cut in my joke here. <laughs> you ever been to an orgy, young fella? What's your name? Freddie, you never been to an orgy? First time I ever went to an orgy was at my cousin's barn. Real disappointing got in there. Wasn't nothing but all my cousins getting sucked off by the milking machine. And to this day, I'm still real pissed off them bastards nicknamed me the milking machine. Oh yeah, and there's kids in the crowd, which, you know. Uh, Give us the list of problems with today. The list of problems with today, we're going to be outside, it's slightly windy, there's flies, uh, uh, people did not pay for so, tickets so they have no vested interest, you know, uh, uh, it's a lot of older people, and, and there's children in the audience. We said, you know, this is an 18 plus event. He went, no, nah, that wasn't on the poster. All right, fuck it, Brody, here's another one for you. <laughs> Your parents are old, you know that right there, oh, but there's even older people, like over in this section. Okay, they're like 70 years old. Here's what you got to know. And this is happening to me as well already. But the older you get, are you good with technology? Bullshit, you're good with technology. The vibrator doesn't count. It's wireless. It's wireless. You got it on Bluetooth. You're just at work pressing the button. She's like, Arr! My mama is 70 years old. Okay, she ain't so good with the technology. Called her on her birthday this year to wish her happy birthday. She picks, had the most embarrassing conversation because she picks up the phone and says, sorry, Jimmy, can't talk right now. I've just gotten out of the shower and I'm still naked. I was like, I know, mama, we on FaceTime. He gets that one. Thank but thank you very much. Uh, we're the final panel. We're um, giving a few more tips. What a miss. Right on, we got it.